Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, harvest is still going. We've only got one one guy yesterday who was doing all the um, deer husking down. But um, let's go and see how they're going on this one. Alright, close. Alright, oh. right, this is our help up. Got uh, Popper's big barrow, very heavy Popper's barrow. He um, went out to buy a barrow like ours, but um, they didn't have one. They only had the ones with the metal tyres on it. So he went and brought one of those. He said, I want one, I want one, I want one. Instead of waiting a week, you know. So he did. And of course, those ones with the solid rims and hard rubber tyres, there's no good. There's no flex, there's no bounce. And um, so we ended up changing it over to another tyre. And of course we had to modify it and fucking it weighs a ton. Alright, so what he's doing now, all that there is full of coconuts. That he's gonna be loading up the truck. Truck with. Alright. But everything got picked up and cleaned as you can see, everything got thrown down here into the pit. Everything's got thrown down. This wood is gonna save for a bit of firewood, I'll cut that up with the chainsaw. So that's okay. Oh. God, it's so cool here. So I said to him, the guy was peeling, de-husking here in the sun, and he had some fronds up for a bit of shade. I said to Papa, I said, right, next time, take all the coconuts up there in the shade, and we'll just move all the husks back again later. And that way, we don't have to cover them up so the sun doesn't explode. Because once you de-husk a coconut, if, this, if it's left in the sun, it will just and of course, once it's cracked, that's it, it's fucked. All the liquid comes out, blah, 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 blah. So we've got to do it in the shade. So I said, next time, let's do it up in the shade and we'll just move all the husks down later on. You know, that's no problem at all. Just makes it so much easier for the guy who's de-husking the, uh, the job. But everything got cleaned up, look. Everything's picked up. It's back to lovely again. Lovely. All right, so I want to have a look up over here. All right. So this is where that one snapped off. That was up as high as yay hay. So just over half of that come off. Probably at 60% higher it was. So um, I cut all that up yesterday, so he's taken all that down. So that's good. I'll get all this mowed again later. There's no problem. These mango trees, that's what she had the problem with. It got um, this, this vine here, climbs over the tree and kills it absolutely kills the tree so she's got one mango there, there's a mango here and there's a mango here and of course this one he got fucked up by the uh, vine and strangled it so i've cut a lot of the branches off yesterday but i got called away called away but i think i might um might get a rope onto this one normally if a tree's standing straight then you can drop it 360 degrees no problem at all but of course this one's leaning far too much over here onto the fences. So what I might have to do is get a rope up onto that, get them to pull that out onto the side, and I'll drop it down. But whether we do that today, I don't know. I don't know Charlie Brown. But these vines absolutely just climbed it and killed it. Have a look at that. So the hint of the day is, guys, if you see these vines starting to climb up onto your trees, Cut them back straight away, so that they don't turn into like this. Just cut them back straight away, because now this one's tethered. Look, but it's good hardwood. This very good hardwood. So Papa wants me to cut this up into logs so we can take back to Mama's place. He wants. Well, it'd be easy to cut. Only it's leaning too far back on that angle. All right. I said everything got picked up well. Back to clean the. Uh, the durians are flowering, so hopefully we'll have a good season of durians again this year. It's a bloody good block, this one. Whoever buys it, I tell you, I've said it before, they're going to get a bloody good block out of it. I said, very cool. This is where I'd have my house, up in this area here, because the breeze that blows through here is much better than what you get down over there. A much better breeze. You know, keep keep what you want around the outside. Just clean all this out here. This is, a good, this is where your house can go. Put all your pig pens, chicken houses and all that over there and you got all that there to do with later. It's a fucking good block this one. 
Seriously. All right, I'll go and see Popper. See where he is and see what we're going to do about this tree. Whether he wants to do it today or tomorrow, I don't know. Okay, guys. So this is this is part of our harvest. So Popper's probably got about four loads like this that he'll be taking. So uh, this is it. Chick's got the. Um, she takes samples out and uh, she's weighing them out now. So she takes out the samples and says this. Out of so many of them, the average weight is this, blah, 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 blah. And she puts it down into her documentation so she knows what is the GGO. So is that all from the back paddock or there's more? Yes, this is all. That's it, finish? Yeah. Right, so the back, that's from the back paddock. And we've still got a pile over here. We've got a pile over here. And we've still got all Mary Lou's piles to go as well yet. So we've still got another two, maybe three more truckloads to take. So, um... You gotta be happy with that, you know? You gotta be happy. So let's see. So what price were you getting, hun? Five point seven? So she's getting five point seven the other day. We don't know what it is because it changes every day. So um if they say this morning it's five point seven, but when we go in there, it can be five point nine. They may not sound much, you know, you know, um, you know, half a peso or something like that but i tell you when you've got a lot of fucking pesos a lot of um kilos i should say then pesos add up i'll tell you now they add up so you may say oh he's only getting 5.5 you get in there at six and you think fuck that's all right because a lot of kilos guys and the half a half a peso per kilo that's money that pays for your harvester all right let's come back later on and see what we do hey guys welcome back well papa's just arrived back and um He's given us news for the first delivery, so we've still got another two or three, at least two, maybe three. So how'd you go on that first one, Dales? Price dropped again or up? Down. Down? 550 per kilo only. And 550 a kilo, it's five and a half pesos. pesos. And, 50 cents and um, that's a total of 1,178 uh, kilograms. That's good, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's more than 1,000. From that area alone. Just from the back? Yeah, the fruit area. Good area. Well, there you go, guys. That's just from the back area. The last harvest, we had 1,500 coconuts from up there. But uh, this time, we've actually um, we've come early today, as in this harvest, because we've got to try and match it better with the, um, what do you call it, the harvesters and all that stuff. So we've actually brought it forward. I think it was two weeks, or maybe three weeks, he's brought it forward to match better with them. Then we'll go out three months again from there. So the price is down to five and a half pesos a kilo. So there you go. Well, we're going down the gate. There's a hell, hell of a storm, as you can see. I believe it's um, from what Judy Mead was saying, it um, was over at uh, Bahal and Cebu, that it's pouring down with rain over there. And uh, here we had the light shower, probably about three o'clock, it was just the sprinkles. But we kept the goats outside and we just kept there with it. And that went okay. But now, the big storm's coming up, and the vow is getting a big hit, we can see from here. They're getting a big hit. We'll see when we get up to the gate. Up to the gate. So we've still got um, Mary Lou's to do. We've still got all the coconuts in our two areas as well. So we've got another two truckloads yet. So we've still got a bit of moolah, a bit of moolah. So what we do with that, uh, let's have a look over here. So sitting here before, there was a lot of lightning. Lots of, lots of lightning over there at the Val. There it is, as you can see, coming through. So they're getting a hell of a hit over there. Bob, I hope you're getting some rain to water your garden and everything's going well. Get off the road, Dean. Right, so like I said, lots of thunder over there. Lots and lots of thunder. So that's over there, over to the West Moor. You can see it's over there. Ugh. Looking ugly as my ex-wife, I tell you. But it's not cold, so that's one good thing. Looking up to the north, it's the same. It's the same-ish to the north. But mostly everything is over here to the, that's the south over there, and that's the west over here. Hey, mate. Hey. So I'd say the Val is getting a hell of a hit at the moment. So leave comments below, Bob, and tell us whether you're getting any rain or not. But um, it seems to be all around us, but nothing with us. You know, like there's still blue sky up here, look. 
It'll be the blue sky up there, bloke, I tell you, mate. My sister, she fucking happy with that, mate. But um, I say it's ugly. But over that way, that way is the worst, the absolute worst over at the Val, as you can see. But we've got our five o'clock at the gate, so we're happy. Hey, boys, how are hanging? Lots of thunder. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to say ta ta t t f n. Going to finish me five o'clock at the gate. I've got me snacks and I've got me two beers. I've got the dogs here. Five o'clock at the gate as always. Take the dogs down. They have a run around, talk to the other dogs through the fence, and then they actually walk home and they do all their business going home. They go and have a dump and have a piss and all that, so we can take them back inside again. So that's their idea of five o'clock at the gate. It's my excuse for coming down here having a cold beer as well. All right, so I'm going to close off now because I've got to, got to go and watch some movies, some videos from Mr. G.D. Mead and his trip to Taliban. So let's see how that went. Mm, they'll get the trolls going, won't it? All right, guys, TTFN from us here. And don't forget, share, subscribe, or bye.